I'm back. Well, here we are again with another review. Still with the skeleton's head. Or a skull. <laughs> Classic. Anyway, what have we got? Well, I've got this sort of funny looking uh, package that's come in the post uh, from a company uh, called Ampirix. A-M-P-I-R-I-C-S, I think it is. Yeah, it's on the PC behind me. Uh, Ampirix.com. And they make a thing called a rack light. It's R A K K L I G H T. Rack light. Yeah. So if you if you've got a guitar rack, uh, maybe you've got a Kemper in it or I don't know, uh, multi amp. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But if you've got a rack and you, you you gig, well, it could be a good idea to be able to see what you're doing. Now, I've had uh, one or two other solutions over the years uh, for getting little lights on there and things like that. But uh, this is really innovative because what I like about it is uh, if you're going out somewhere, you want to promote your band name or whatever it is, and they're able to put your band name on a, a, a one unit or a two unit rack uh, thingy, I'll call it that, <laughs> and uh, make everything look great. And it lights the rack and it puts your name in lights, which is where they want to be, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing like having your name in lights. Yeah. So let's pull it out. Hold on. It's... Now the thing about the rack light, what I like, because uh, it's me, it's got my name on. <laughs> well, it's actually got my website on, if you can see that. Let's keep it down and then it, it's seeable. Uh, so, all very nice. This is about uh, 3 8 uh, sort of perspex where they've uh, laser etched the whatever you want on the front. It's got my, my uh, website name on, but it could be tomdickorharry.com. Anything you want, really. Uh, she's nice. It's really, really well made. You'd say, well, uh, you know, anybody can do that. Well, you can't. <laughs> Just trust me, you can't. I like the way this fixes at the back. It's got, this is a connector for the power. And they supply a power supply. I'll show you that in a moment. And uh, very, very nice. Custom at the top. Nice on and off switch. You're going to see it on the, uh, on the rack in a few minutes. There's not really that much to talk about, except, like I said, I mean, the quality of this thing. Is just, that's what I like. Really, really high quality device. And it is, this particular one is very bright. Uh, now, if you go and buy one of the other colours, uh, the brightness will vary. You've got to bear that in mind because, you know, when it's very clear like this, you'll have the, the, the most bright light, white light there is. Uh, I've got a purple one down on the floor. I'll pull that out and show you in a sec. That's not quite as bright as what this one is. But the one unit one uh, here in this particular setup is awesome. Oh, awesome. There's the word. Uh, I've had racks for years and uh, I've never found any light that's as bright as what this one is. It's really, really good. Let me show you the purple one. By the way, uh, if you want to find out more about these, they've got a, another website as well as ampirix.com. Uh, it's called, I've got to look for this, uh, rackstack.com. I'll spell that because it's spelt a bit funny and it's sort of here, rackstack.com. Yeah, so hop over to that or empirics.com and uh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Hey, I've even got a little business card. This is all, it's all good stuff. A real company, I might add. She's good, not just a sort of internet guy. Anyway, if you look at this rack light, it looks black, of course. Oops, let's get that right for now. I'm going to turn it on in a second, in here so you can get some idea but well, I'm not going to put this one in the rack I'll put the single in the rack and uh, you'll get a really good idea about that it's made to the same level as the other units uh, it must be at least 3 8 thick perspex it's quite heavy as well uh, not that that affects anything it doesn't but uh, I really like uh, I like the purple too it's a bit less in your face but it's still it's a nice colour. It's a relaxing colour. You get to my age. <laughs> I get worse. Anyway, what else do you get? What you get is a power supply. 
I like power supplies. This one's adequate for in your rack. What is it? Let's take a look. I'm looking at power supplies for some reason. See you approved, all the regular sort of stuff. It's 12 volts. And it's a 12 volt, uh, one amp. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. 1,000 milliamps, one amp. Not bad. Comes with a few converters if you're in other countries. So, yeah, USA too, indeed. Yeah, it should be good. So, I'm going to plug it in. Let's dim the lights. Well, I can only dim them so far in this room, but let's see what we get. Hold on. I'm back. Well, it's all darker in here. You might have noticed or not, because the, the windows are over there and it's middle of the day. It's not very rock and roll, is it? But uh, anyway, I've connected this. And remember, this is the dull one. I think it's quite nice. And uh, you can see that you get quite a lot of light, actually, from it. So you can see that in your rack, can't you? Yeah, with your name on, or your band's name, even better. Uh, I think it's all good. Let me just plug the other one in, and uh, you can contrast the difference, and uh, well, you'll see for yourself that the other one's much brighter than this. Well, as, as I said, this is nice. Aesthetically pleasing, as they say uh, in the Nandy Pandy world. <laughs> Hold on. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Well, there it is. I mean, let's try and make it a bit darker than, you know, what you've got in this room. You turn this one on. Oh, that's a lot brighter. Well, look at the camera. He doesn't want to know. <laughs> look at that. I mean, we're talking daylight here, man. Even I've gone dark in the face. Really bright, actually. You can see that if that was a rack. Yeah, it's all going to be good. And, uh... Yeah, my name in lights. Awesome. So, we're going to go out anytime soon. And just uh, plug that in. But let me put the lights back on. Finish off here. Rack light. That's really light. Mm, let's pull that out. Let's get rid of all that. So, what do I think about them? Well, I think they're awesome, actually. They're not the cheapest thing in the world. Uh... But to be honest, uh, I haven't got some other stuff for, for in one of my racks at least, and uh, that cost about, uh, I think it's about £110. Uh, so that's not cheap. And uh, I think this, this big fat one cost me about £80 or $120, which is a real chunk of stuff, you know, it's not, it's not like flimsy stuff. Uh, this one cost a bit less, but the thing about this one is, Depends on the brightness, you know, if you go for the clear one, you'll have real bright, and if you go for the coloured ones, which there are a number, uh, you'll have this more laid-back stuff. Depends on the style or everything, I guess. But, uh, really cool, man. Really. I haven't seen anything like that before. So the pricing's, well, so-so. It's not that bad, and uh, shipping wasn't bad, and the rest wasn't bad. And What I liked about this, this company is... Uh, you can get to speak to the man, Dan, in fact. Dan the man, yeah. Hey, Dan, how's he doing? And he's a very affable and uh, likeable guy. He'll help you and uh, solve your problems if you get any. And that's the main thing about, you know, when you're dealing with a company, you want somebody that's going to stand by the products. Uh, often I see people that don't stand by the products and you might as well skim it into the bin and not bother. Oh, don't waste your money. In this case, that's another story. Anyway, we're going out and uh, have a look at it in a rack situation. It can be darker out there, so that's good. But how would I rate the gear? Uh, you know, would I buy another? Well, if I was making racks, to be honest, I'd make this one a sort of standard fitment, a standard job for any rack that I put together. It's awesome, honestly. Really, really bright. But if you, if you want it more laid back, and some people do, uh, just trust me on this, you don't want to all be in your face, uh, then maybe the, the darker colour in a single unit or a dual unit uh, would suit you better. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. It's a personal choice. It's a bit like what string you play, you know, what amp you've got, and things like that. So, uh, my rating for this is 10 out of 10. And there's little to say about it, because it all works. The only one thing 
by the way, that I did have uh, with, an issue with, uh, that needs pointing out, is that the rack screws that I have, my, I use the standard rack screws, if there is a standard, I think there is, and those are the ones with the, you know, the captive nuts that you push into the slot from behind. That's a sort of industry standard uh, from where I come from. And uh, the ones that I have, the standard screw, was just not quite long enough. But uh, if you speak to Ampirics about that uh, and what screws you've got and what you need, I'm sure they'll help you with that. Indeed, they sent me a couple for this job. So uh, we can use their screws, pull them in, and just make sure that all works very nice. I'm sure it will, and uh, it takes two seconds to fit, of course. So that's it for now on this one. Uh, don't forget to go to TonyMcKenzie.com. <laughs> I had to do that. If you want to see uh, my website and all the stuff that's on there, as I said in another video, it's being updated at the moment. So it's probably three months to do. Uh, well, that'll be nice when it's been done. Not as nice as me, of course. <laughs> and uh, www.youtube.com, TonyMcKenzie.com, without the dot, uh, for my channel that's got more than 160 videos of uh, similar sort of things. So 10 out of 10, nice one Dan, great job, uh, really impressive. I met these uh, guys about a year ago, uh, or maybe 18 months ago at a trade show, and uh, he's the gear. It's all good. So watch this space now, sorry, that space now, and uh, you'll like it too, I'm sure you will. So get on that internet and uh, get hold of Dan. Come here, Dan. <laughs> Till next time. It's coming up now. Well, here we are in the studio with the Ampirix rack stack. Yeah, rack stack sounds good. Plugged in uh, with its two longer screws, remember. The regular ones don't quite hack it. So you need slightly longer ones than that. Those were my defaults, but anyway, there it is installed. So what we're going to do is uh, drop the lights down and it gets dark in here and then we'll flip this on and you'll be able to see me again. <laughs> well, you can see me sort of, and there's a bit of a, a window over there. Maybe I could have done this at night, but I don't know. It's better now. I've got more time. So let's turn it on and see what you get. Whoa, man, is that bright. Covers the whole front of the rack, look at this, awesome, all the way down here, and probably down to the floor, well in fact it does do down to the floor, let's zoom in a bit and uh, take a look at what we've got. What I've done is shut down the uh, video to compensate for such bright light, it's an incredible amount of light. Uh, if I turn it back up, you'll see that uh, it's really, really bright. It's not as bright in reality as that. Uh, I should say, in reality, it's more like that. In fact, it's very much like that. So uh, you get a real good idea of where we're coming from with this uh, this unit. It's uh, awesomely powerful, and uh, as I said, you can have any name you want. Now, what I want to do is to uh, show you the other unit. This one's in purple, and it's two unit high. I'm not going to screw it in. I'm just going to connect it up and uh, give you a bit of a quick example what this one's like in the dark. This one's more laid back than that one. That one's a bit brash, but uh, it does look great in reality. This one's, in my opinion, very slightly dark, but uh, having said that, you don't always want it really dead bright. Okay, well, here's the other one uh, just off the rack. It's still pretty impressive. I'll zoom in a bit and then you'll get a better idea. Now just holding this one in position you can see that it's more laid back rather than glaring. I've got it turned down again on the camera as I did with the other so uh, these are very similar images. But you can see that if that was fitted you'd still have a pretty good, uh, pretty good view of the rest of the rack. So don't assume that you know this one's too dark. It's not necessarily too dark at all. It's just the way that I have it semi-fitted. Quite impressive. I'll turn the camera up a bit so you can get that second view and see what you think.
Now, of course, the camera is much uh, more sensitive to the light, and you can see uh, it still lets an awful lot in. And that's it. Hope you like it. www.empirics.com